Get me out of here. Let me go see Dutch and see what's happening. Good morning. Hope that good morning. Hope that didn't ruin anything. All right now, Dutch. Going, Not too bad yourself. It's funny. Okay, that needs to get it. Yeah. And up down here. My daddy died in a field in Pennsylvania, fighting this life. I ever tell you that? Many times. I see I'm boring you, Arthur. Worrying me. We lost men back there. We have lofty goals, Arthur. We're trying to reform society to a kinder, truer, better way. Now, of course, there's gonna be casualties. We're thieves in a world that don't want us no more. We yep. are dreamers in an ever duller world of facts. Now, I'll give you that, but come on. We got the day. It's nice out. I don't know, Dutch. I think you're losing your ways. Trick around here. I reckon it's full of fish. You want to go fishing, Dutch? You and I? Is that what you want to do? I'm going to swear I'd take over the business and kill Dutch, too. Overthrow him. Okay, what do you want, Dutch? Where are we going? Hey, old girl, come on down here. Why don't you show us this crick you've been pissing in? Hey, you don't oh. look too rosy, old friend. I thought this warmer weather would... My days are looking good a long over, Dutch. <laughs> Always green, crushing, and bubble burst at you. Come on. Let's go fishing. Come on, then. All right, Jose. Show us where you want to go fishing. Yeah. Why don't we just fish here? There's a whole lake of them. Because I need to get out for a bit. Me and the old guard. Before any of them back there, oh, there was a us. The curious couple and their unruly son. It feels good here. You did well finding that spot, Arthur. More Charles. Thank you, me. Dutch. It's like I can breathe again. Thick and soupy as know. this air is. Might even do I don't like always looking over my shoulder. Hoping the law don't come best. around. Feels like a lifetime ago. It was a lifetime ago. But what a life we have lived, how well we have fought, especially both of you. I hope so. But now, when things are desperate, we have to stick with the plan. Make enough money, then find somewhere where nobody will find us. Where we don't have to hide. Uh, like where? I got some ideas hatching, but I need you with me. Not against me. Both of you. Of course. Still, we do need money. So keep a low profile, especially in the local town. After Valentine, I want everyone on best behavior here. No trouble. But start turning over the soil and the rocks. See what turns up. Dutch. I heard train. Discreet. Imagine what a clue of rich simple tins there must be down here oh, do we rub this? this is perfect for you Hosea you'll be able to play them like oh, a fiddle. oh my but god that was ahead. terrifying cool. <laughs> hello gentlemen well Look what the cat drug in. Well, well, look who it is. Who's that? Quiet back there. Let's see if we can't sort this out. Uh-oh. How are you, boys? What's about to happen? Right. This is quite some country you have here. We like it well enough. Hoagie McIntosh, at your service. Lee Gray. This is my deputy, Archibald McGregor. Hey, 
good to meet you. Archibald. You Scott? Partly. The best part. <laughs> of course. <laughs> now, tell me, sir, what did the silly, fancy fop back there do? Nothing too terrible, I trust. He was accused of running a gold mining investment scam. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm sure he wasn't. Now, he is a magician. I know him. He's a fool. But he is not a bad fellow. Now, can we... Can we just... Uh... I wouldn't do that if I were you! I... Shit! I... The Anderson boys! I can't have more scandal! Well, allow us to help, my friend. Arthur! Chase wanted man. Uh, and, and take Archibald with you. Just what I signed up for. Come on, big guy. Perhaps we can discuss All right. the magician. Stay with that train. Don't let them get away. And do not shoot them, you hear me? Come on, hurry. Uh, I right. want to shoot them, Come though. Come on, we're losing them. Will you relax? What do you mean we're losing them? Faster, come on. There. What's your name, oh, sir? Oh, this guy's annoying Arthur. already. Arthur Callahan. Faster, Mr. Callahan, please. My neck is on the line here. I get it. I'm doing my best. So what are these fellas wanted for? Looks like the son of a bitch is gonna make it. You sure I can't just shoot him? No. Can I not say that? You said plenty. Look at what are you gonna do? <laughs> oh my god. That must have hurt. Leave him. Stay with He's that dead. Train. He's dead. The He's dead. He's dead. Get to the side right. of the train. See the flat Ooh. carriage? Head My hand's that. cramping. Get us as close All as right. you can. You think you can jump on there? Hey, why me? Because you ride like my grandmother. Uh, wow. All right. Do nothing. Oh. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, let me break your jaw. Oh, bye bye. Hold it right there, mister. I'm coming for you. Ain't no run for me. There you go. There you go. Let me go. Let me go get your brother now. He almost. He almost just died right there. That was close. Let me run at him. Let me run at him. Come on. Come on. Uh, uh, I'll kill him. Oh my god, I'm dead. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. Oh, he dropped the knife. He dropped the knife. Oh, is he dead? I don't think he's dead. I think I won the fight. Oh, oh just about. Pick up the Anderson boy. I'm sorry, boy. Jeez, my hand is all cramped up now. Bring him out here. All right. Hey. I'll bring Sounds him out. Like quite a commotion. Is that him? I sincerely hope so. Old Anders Anderson. So what now? Take him in. Come on. A fine job. Well done. And a pat on the Thank back you. for me for stopping the train. There you go. You are a natural. 
All right, let's take him in. Follow me. What about All right, so now I guess we're getting oh, on the we'll good side. Up. Anders back there is the brains of the operation, and that's really saying something. You're the boss. That was mighty impressive, sir. I have to admit, I'd hazard a guess you've served the law yourself at some point. Well, I wouldn't exactly say that. Are you familiar with <laughs> the area here? No, not really. No, sir. On your right here, these tobacco fields? This is part of Caliga Hall, big estate belonging to the Gray family. Looks bone dry. Yes, we are in dire need of some rain around here, let me tell you. The Greys have lived in Caliga Hall for generations. Fine people. My family's been working for them for years. Sheriff Gray's the one I know best, of course, but they own half the businesses in town. Which town? Rhodes, sir. You don't know it? Where we're headed right now. Ain't what it was before the war, but it has its charms. I'm sure you already know of the Braithwaites. Like I said, big just tobacco got fields, down. actually. Another big family oh in these parts. They have they go on and on and on. Awful people, truly awful. They've been fighting with the Greys for as long as I can remember. Sounds like quite the place you got here. All right, how far is the the law station now? Left or right? We'll take a right. Here we are. Welcome to Rhodes. Welcome. Up there on your left is the Rhodes Parlor House. Very reputable saloon owned okay. by the Ray family. We also have a wait, general store, wait, wait, gunsmith, wait, wait. post office, train station, of course. What more do you need? Oh, good. They're back. And that's your is this friend, the old right? town? Yep. This is the old town. Okay. Nope. We're gonna stop just ahead on the right, outside the sheriff's office. Can you grab Anders off your horse and carry him in for me? Just bring him here. No, I'm hey, crazy. Fellas. This ain't no armadillo. Mr. Gray! We got him. Very good. I told you Arthur would deliver. Man has a passion for justice. That's wonderful. So, uh, about my friend here? Your idiot friend is free to go. But no more trouble from you, partner. I promise you, this was all just a big misunderstanding. However, thank you I very want to much. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. Now, I'll pretend to appreciate that, Mr. McIntosh. It has been a real pleasure. The mostly good citizens of Rhodes, we welcome you. Well, we're just honored to be here. Now make your friend behave. We got enough trouble from some of the residents, old timers who've gone sadly to seed and lost their dignity. How terrible. Come along now. <laughs> I'll keep this fellow on the straight and narrow. Well, come back and see us sometime I promise soon. You. Excuse me, gentlemen. Now, Bo, these better be ugly rumors. Is it true you were seen talking to that wretched Penelope Braithwaite? I can't thank you enough. Uh -oh. Where have you been? Around. And where are you staying? I'm renting a caravan. The edge of town behind the church. It's horrible, but no one comes looking. The whole town is trapped in this interminable feud between the two families. His lot, Greys, and Braithwaite's. Interesting. Two old plantation houses and falling out of rebel gold and marrying cousins or not marrying. Arthur, that's it. Jose, you start poking around. See what you can find out about that. I have missed you, boys. I've heard about bounty. Oh, there's been a price on my head for 13 years. It'll take a month to find us down here, and it seems like we can have a little sport. Well, they're good bounties. Where you hear this? Some fellas I met at a camp near the state line said there was talk mm -hmm. of it in bars in the north and west for 500 miles. There was oh, talk no. of super agents or some such. Super agents. <laughs> I'd love to meet one. It's just talk. I'm sure it is, but I couldn't not tell you. Stay out of trouble. Thank you, gentlemen. <laughs> that is scary. People are cracking down on us. We got the FBI, the the so DEA. My God. You start sniffing around the Gray's place. See what the story is there. Yeah, I passed by. The CIA. With our friend Archibald. Good. Hosea, you see what you can find out about these Braithwaites. All right. Thank you, Arthur. Quiet.
No worries. There's still time. I'm up for it. How about you, Arthur? Have you had enough of the chase for one day? Uh all right, let's uh, let's have some fishing. Great, Hosea. You're right. Why don't you lead us to that spot you were talking about? I kind of like this place. Okay, let's see if we can avoid any more excitement. Oh, there they are. Come here, girls. Yep. Get up. All right. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Are you okay, ma'am? It's the same lake we camped on, just a different pipe. It'll be Didn't even stop. Some big drum and sturgeon there. Hosea, you bass, savage. Bluegills, perch, pickerel too. It's a good spot. We'll see if you're as good at catching fish as you are at catching criminals, Arthur. Trelawney owes me for that. Trelawney owes everyone for something, but his information is good. Plus, we are now ingratiated with the local law. I'd say it was a worthwhile diversion all around. Where's the spot? Oh, Timbuk two? Not too much farther. Anyway, you two never told me properly about that business with Cornwall. Oof. Oof. You two never told me properly about that business with Cornwall in Valentine. What happened there? Apart from scaring the living daylights out of Mr. Strauss. That was about the only upside. John and I didn't even have time to get paid for the sheep we rustled. It is safe to say Mr. Cornwall isn't a man to let bygones be bygones. Ambush yeah. us in the saloon. He came with a lot of guards and what seemed like just about every lawman in the county. We've had closer shaves, but not that many. And if Cornwall found us, the Pinkertons couldn't have been far behind. They found yeah. me when I was fishing with Jack, remember? Listen, it was good we moved when we did. But that mess is behind us now. Yes. Jack told me you were a good teacher when you took him fishing. I said he must have you confused with someone else. <laughs> oh my god, what kind of wheeze was that? Very funny. Ah. Watch it. You got a problem oh my with god. that horse? This is the spot. Down to the left there. Oh my god, I'm a mess. Alright, down to the left. Let's go. Come on, Dutch. Coming past. Okay, go. Ah! Oh, oh! oh my god. Are you gonna fall in the lake too? What? Oh, <laughs> okay. I saw some boats around last time. Be good to get to deeper water. Hey, those are the boats you mean? Yes. Good. Yes. Good. I'm sure nobody would mind if we borrowed one of these. Come on. Yeah, no. We wouldn't have a single issue with it. Let's just take them. All right. This looks like a fine vessel. Okay. Come on, Arthur. Let's get her in the water. Huh? Oh, oh. I got a good feeling about fishing here. There's supposed to be some incredible sturgeon. Oh. Okay, here we go. <sighs> Let me row. You boys are too old for real labor no more. You're too dumb for anything else. <laughs> oh, You're far. Still too quick for me, old man. Enjoy picking on children. <laughs> now take us to the <laughs> deeper water and pray for 
Good luck and stupid fish. What about stupid luck and good fish? That'll do too. Head towards the middle of the lake. Gotcha, Hosea. This water sure is beautiful. My, oh my, what a beautiful day for fishing. All right. Good luck, gentlemen. Should really come here at dawn or dusk. That's when you catch the best fish. We should use a lake lure. That'll give us a much better chance of hooking something big like a... Sturgeon. Strong with good old worm. Oh, worms are good for tiddlers like bluegill and rock bass, but you'd have to be real lucky to catch a sturgeon with one. Lures it is, then. You heard the expert, Arthur. Let's bait up. Keep the lure moving slowly on the water so it looks like a little fish just asking to be eaten. It's okay, we got this. I'm a pro fisherman. I'm gonna make it go quick. Arthur's got a bite. That's on the hook, Arthur. Yeah, baby. That's it. That's it. That's it. Come on now. Come on, girl. Come on, girl. Come on, girl. Come on. What is it? Come on. You Good got job, some fighting Arthur. you, girl. There we go. I'm keeping that one. Nibbling. Got one. Got one. Not bad. Damn it. Four I pounds. I'll keep it. Nice. Hey, Jose. You remember that time we sent Arthur out fishing? He came back with three beautiful bass. Not huh, this again. I don't think I do. Oh, yeah. You do. He was maybe 20. 21. Walked in all full of himself. We had a big feast. Toasted him all night. This was 15 years ago. Oh, I remember now. <laughs> then, the next week, Arthur and I are at the market, and Fishmonger calls out, So how did you enjoy those bass? <laughs> <laughs> you can fish, or you can go drinking all day. Rob someone and buy some fish. There, hooked him. Yep. Well, that's what I like to I say. Used to go fishing right, with Arthur. This back in the day. Come Wesley, on. Wesley, his on. name was. About to get my second. Real miserable bastard, but he loved to fish. We go out all the time. But one day we were river fishing when we see a funeral procession going over the bridge. There we go. Hey, look at this beauty. There That's you go. Another four well, pounds, six on, ounces. They can grow a lot bigger than that. Well, it told me he once saw a monster lake sturgeon near the mouth of the river, just southwest of Saint Denis. Fifty pounder, he read. <laughs> oh my like God! That. Remember those that big is a salmon monster. I caught in Montana last year? We had a banquet planned that night until Copper went and scoffed the lot. You never had control of that dog. Uh, he had some spirit though. Never lost the puppy in him, right to the end. You know, I remember us saying how Blackwater was the first. Come on, come on. Been, as a group, I mean. Feels like the more we try to head west, the further east we end up. We had all those safe spots picked out to lie low in New Austin after the ferry job. I liked it there. Still come on, girl. Come on, girl. Oh, she's close. It should be. Somehow, I think this is a tiny one, too. It doesn't feel too heavy. Closer to the sky. No point us trying to get back that way oh. anytime yeah, soon. Same, same size, same size. patrols out all over tall trees and great Keep plains. on getting bigger we and bigger. We went back for Sean. Well, look at us now, huh? It could be worse. Plans change. That's just how life goes. Did I ever tell you my mother's buried in Blackwater? Really? She is? 
Apparently so. I, uh, I only cast. found out from an uncle of mine years later. Last I knew, she was still outside Philadelphia. I left home at 15 and didn't see her again. She and I didn't always see eye to eye. I wasn't always a very obedient child. I can only imagine. Still, I loved her. Oh, she's a big way. girl. And she, me, and hers, <laughs> somehow, even from the grave, she managed to have the last laugh. Nice, you hooked him. There we go, there we go. Come on, come on, come on. This one's a big one, I think. There you go. That's a nice one. Yeah. How big one? Oh, no. That'll Small. grill up nice. It's my second smallest one yet. Now, we, are we going to be doing this all day, gentlemen? Because I feel I'm beating y'all. I'm like four for four, five for five. Chasing down outlaws. All right. We did we a hell of a good job, here. though. Pearson will be happy. Should we head back? We could keep the boat. Now we got some food for them. here. Good idea. Could be useful. What about the horses? Well, they'll find their way back. Just follow the shore south, Arthur. That was fun. <laughs> Thank you. That was fun, Dutch. Now, Jose, Thanks, Jose. Yes. How about a song? Okay. Uh, all right, I got one for you. I asked that How about no? No, 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 no. We don't need to hear this. I asked that girl to give me some. She says, wait till the taters is done. I couldn't wait till the taters was done. Wait till the taters was done. I couldn't wait till the taters, I couldn't wait till the taters was done. I couldn't wait till the taters was done. I wish to God I'd passed her by. I wish to God I'd passed her by. Taters got burned and so did I. <laughs> <laughs> that was that was pretty good. But you know, what song we should be singing? What? Well, look at us, three mariners. Ah, of course. Well, we three four mariners. Come from the sea. We spend our lives in jeopardy while others live at ease. Shall we go dance this round and round and round? Shall we go dance this round and round and round? And he that is a bully boy, come pledge me on this round and round and round, round. We care not for martial men that do our states disdain. But we care for the merchant men who do our states maintain. To them we dance around, 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 we should not let the folks back again. <laughs> All right. Well, now we're back again. Now we're back again. Beautiful. All right. Thank you very much, boys. I had a lovely time with you. I. Well, I mean, we. Are gonna be okay. I know. Oh, I always know. Whenever I got you two by my side, things are going to be just fine. This place will be good for us. 